Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am so excited to be filming this. Today I have two brand new fragrances from Untamed to share with you. So you guys, anybody that has been following my channel knows that late last year I was introduced to this house called Untamed. It is a it's an independent fragrance house out of BC, Canada, just north of where I grew up, so it's very near and dear to my heart. And you all know that I am obsessed with every single fragrance in this line. These are super, super high quality niche fragrances. They're incredible. Mavlana is one of my favorite perfumes of life. Like, it's top 10, could not live without it. But anyways, so, she sent over her two newest creations and you guys, just when I think that they can't get any better, they somehow do. Um, these two fragrances are amazing. I am so excited to talk about them and I'm gonna jump right in. So I wanna start with one that she sent over for Charlotte first though. Um, you guys know if you ask Charlotte, if you um, have ever seen any of my live streams with Charlotte on them and you ask her what is her favorite fragrance, she's gonna tell you Shaped by the Wild from Untamed. It is her favorite fragrance and so the owner of Untamed sent this beautiful bottle for Charlotte. It's got this beautiful uh, label that was made by her husband. So her husband is First Nation and he made this beautiful label for this bottle. And then you can see on the back it says Shaped by the Wild. It's got her name here and it says Artist Edition for Charlotte. It's got, I believe, her husband's name and I'm guessing his, his like native name, which is amazing. I mean, this is so, so special. I just can't even, Charlotte squealed when she saw it. She was just, she was so, so happy. I mean, how thoughtful is that? It is the most thoughtful thing. And it's just, it's such an amazing, <laughs> oh my gosh, it is such an amazing fragrance, which I'm gonna go through the entire line again after we talk about the new ones, just because they deserve love again. Oh, Shaped by the Wild is so good and Charlotte is so excited to have her own bottle and I'm so excited she has her own bottle too so she doesn't have to wear mine. She's got her own bottle now. So, yeah, because mine has definitely got a big huge dent in it from the child. Oh gosh, it's just amazing though. So anyways, that is the first the first one that I wanted to share with you. Um, Okay, let's get into the new ones. I'm gonna start with, they're both equally amazing. I just wore this one yesterday though, and I can't tell you guys. These fragrances are just on another level. There's something about them that just like speaks to my soul. There's nothing mainstream or commercial about these at all. They are so unique and so, you can just see, you can just feel how much has gone into the creation of these fragrances. So the first one we're going to talk about is this one here. This one is called My Greek Lover. So she's got these beautiful cards now that have the notes on them and they kind of tell you what is behind the fragrance. So it says, while my Greek lover may bring to mind the idea of romantic love, the name of this perfume is also intended to pay homage to the countless ways one inevitably falls in love with the wonders of Greece. Inspired by the passion of a people who love deeply and celebrate unabashedly, my Greek lover captures the magic of a Greek summer. Fresh, sunshiny, sweet, and sexy. And I believe she has, she's Greek herself. She's got Greek heritage, so, um, which is super special because you know these come from a place deep within her and you can tell when you smell them, that's what makes them so special. Okay, so it says, My Greek Lover opens with bright, juicy lemon, bittersweet orange, green grapes, along with delicate herbs and spices. Intoxicating florals of orange blossom and jasmine dance with sticky sweet honeyed fruits of quince and fig. Crisp, clean, aromatic, woody notes of cypress, pine, and cedar merge into a sensual dry down of resinous mastic, honey, musk, and a touch of civet. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I got these in the mail on Friday. I immediately sprayed one on each hand 
And then I spent the next four hours just going back and forth. I would smell one hand and then I would smell the other and I just I just spent hours smelling each one and smelling them through all of the phases from the time I first sprayed it on to what it smelled like 15 minutes later to what it smelled like an hour later to what it smelled like th two hours later in the deep deep dry down they're completely different fragrances it's funny because um, she wrote a little note on the my Greek lover one that she forgot to put mastic as one of the notes um, and mastic is it's such a special note and I'm so because she sent over um, it's been some months back but she sent me some of the raw material of, of mastic she sent um, an actual liquid form and then she sent it in its solid form so I actually have some of the raw material of mastic so I'm very very familiar with the scent now and I knew immediately when I smelled my Greek lover I could smell the mastic immediately it's just such a it's such a special note. It's so, gosh, it's just so incredible. It brings something and you don't ever smell it in fragrance. It's very, it's just not used very often, but I can smell it immediately and I could smell it immediately as soon as I smelled this. I wanna say there's not as much in this as there is in Mevlana. You can smell it in both of them, but there might be, I don't know. They're just, they're such different fragrances. It's hard to, it's hard to say. This is incredible. So as I was wearing this, it, there's nothing else in the world that it smells like. None of her fragrances smell like anything you've ever smelled before. Um, they're just so unique. So I don't want to say that this smells like anything because it doesn't, but the closest thing that I can compare it to is like a pure poison because as soon as I sprayed this on, I got kind of a slightly vintage vibe from it. Um, it smells incredibly modern and it doesn't smell like a vintage fragrance, but I just, there was a kind of a vintage idea about it, which you know is like right up my alley. I love anything vintage. But after it starts to dry down, after about 15 minutes, you start getting these sweet honeyed florals and fruits. You, the mastic is always there. And then this really beautiful cleanliness comes out. The sweetness of the florals and the honeyed fruits kind of give way to this really beautiful, sweet cleanliness. And that's when Pure, Pure Poison came to mind because it's the only other fragrance that I've ever smelled that kind of gives you that same experience. Now, Pure, this is way more complex than Pure Poison. It's way better than Pure Poison, hands down. I mean, Pure Poison is beautiful for what it is, but it can't hold a candle to this. Um, this is so much more. It's so much richer, and there's so much more soul in this than you will ever find in Pure Poison. But if you like Pure Poison, I think you would be obsessed with this the way that I am. This is gonna be Mevlana 2.0 for me. I. After I got Mevlana, and you guys will see, I mean, my bottle of Mevlana is well loved. Now, mind you, I have made a couple of decants for some people out of this, but I, this is one of my top 10 for life fragrances. I couldn't live without it. It's, oh my gosh, it's on another level. It's fantastic. Um, the only reason I haven't been talking about it recently is because for me, this is more of a cold weather fragrance. <laughs> this, on the other hand, this is gonna be an all year round but beautiful warm weather fragrance. But I'm obsessed with this in the way that I was obsessed with Mevlana in that every day that I have woken up since I've had these, which has only been like three days, um, I think, oh, what perfume do I wanna wear today? And this is what I wanna wear. Like, I don't even really, I'm like, oh, I wanna wear my Greek lover. It's just, <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. I just want, that's all I want to wear. It is an absolute beast. This thing I sprayed, I went to my mom's yesterday. Her birthday is coming up, so I went down to kind of celebrate her birthday and to see her, and I sprayed this on at about 10 o'clock in the morning. I could smell this all day. Every time I moved, I was getting a whiff of this, and I was in absolute heaven. Yeah, I could still smell this, so I went the entire day. I never reapplied this. I went the entire day, put on my pajamas, went to bed, woke up this morning, I could still smell this. I could smell it from where it had transferred from my skin onto my pajamas. I could smell it on my pajamas. I could still smell it on my skin. I mean, these fragrances are, they're like what you want in your perfume. They're unique. 
They're incredible. They've got so much soul to them and they perform amazingly. So anyways, yeah, that is my Greek lover. It is my new obsession. You guys will probably see this at least once a month in a what I wore last week video because I'm not going to be able to stop wearing this. Um, I will at least be wearing this a couple times a week probably for the rest of the summer because I'm absolutely obsessed. It's going to end up on my top 10 for life list like fragrances that I couldn't live without because I'm just obsessed with it. So anyways, that is my Greek lover. Okay, next we have got Blackbird. Um, Blackbird is no less amazing. Oh my gosh. This is this one for me is going to be more of a cold weather fragrance, though it could be worn any time of year. I will definitely give this, I haven't given, given this one a good full wear test, but I have sprayed it on my hand and and experienced it and I've got a good feel for it just having sprayed it on my skin and smelled it and this is going to be for my rose lovers out there. Um, this is kind of a woody rose fragrance. This is one that I'm going to be obsessed with come fall. So this one says, a perfume ode to my blackbird friends, Theodore and Anastasia. Yes, those are the names I chose to call them. For many years, this curious and romantic crow pair have gifted me with a daily visit. In the evening, after their city adventures, they fly east to roost in the forest along with thousands of others. I imagine them in their beautiful, dark, and mystical forest where they shapeshift into human form. A fire is lit and they celebrate into the night, dancing, singing, and speaking of great mysteries. Mythology tells me ravens and crows are tricksters, shapeshifters, and messengers of the gods. Alfred Hitchcock tells me they are murderous. In all ways, I have had a lifelong fascination with both ravens and crows. Blackbird is an expression of my love and intrigue for them. Okay, so the notes in Blackbird are, these are also, just so you know, these are x straight perfumes. I'm, I'm quite sure I've, um, oh, this one has an iridescent label, you guys. Like, it looks white when you look at it head-on, but when it hits the light, it's got an iridescent purple. Oh my goodness. Let me let me look at the My Greek Lover. Yeah, My Greek Lover just has a really beautiful... They've all got... That's the thing with her labels. They've all got... A, they're all different. Um, they're all white labels with the same gold writing and the same owl, but they're all different. They've all got different patterns on them, and this one is iridescent. This one is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's the little things. I just get so excited. Okay, so the notes are spices, Bulgarian rose, Moroccan rose, artemisia, divana, incense, benzoin, mysore sandalwood, witty notes, vanilla, and oud. Um, so you definitely get the rose and the oud. It's definitely like a rose oud combination. This is the only fragrance that I've ever smelled from Untamed that, that I've smelled anything like it before. With that being said, quality and just, again, the soul that you can smell in this is like nothing else. But it is a beautiful rose and oud combination. There's spices in it, but you also get this almost, there's almost this kind of dry, herbaceous, quality to it from the Artemisia and the Divana. You get this beautiful warmth from the spices. The Oud and the Rose are definitely the star of the show, but it's not overpowering. Neither of them is overpowering. They're just beautifully blended. You get the beautiful sandalwood, which is not in any way like synthetic or, I don't know, sandalwood can be, sandalwood can be problematic in fragrance for me because if it's not a like true sandalwood, it ends up smelling just synthetic and kind of generic. There, but you're never gonna get anything like that with Untamed. You can smell the sandalwood and it is a beautiful, warm, true sandalwood. Like real sandalwood. This one, it's got, it's got a lot of vanilla in it too and the vanilla brings this beautiful sweetness if you're like me and you love a warm, cozy, kind of slightly sweet, spiced fragrance, you would love this. I think that this, for me, this one is a super, super safe blind buy. I can't imagine, unless you're somebody that either hates rose or hates oud, um, 
If you dislike either of those notes, I would definitely stay far away. But if you're somebody that you love rose, you love oud, you know you love a rose and oud combination, I think this is the safest blind buy. Very safe. It's incredible. It's incredible on, like every single one of them, it's a total beast and it's just incredible. And now I'm like enamored with this label because every time I move it, it turns to like the iridescent purple and I'm just obsessed. And I love her bottles too. They're just the most beautiful bottles with the wood lids. I just love everything about it. I love the gold on the white. Oh, can you guys see the iridescent blue? I don't know if it'll come across on camera, but it is so pretty. Like it looks white and then it's blue and then it's white and then it's blue. It's so pretty, but yeah, this is amazing. I cannot wait for cooler weather. Well, I'm not going to wait for cooler weather. I'm definitely going to test this way before it cools down but yeah these are amazing you guys i mean i just don't know how she keeps coming out with these incredible perfumes but let me quickly go over the rest of them just to refresh your memory or if you're new here and you haven't seen my my original untamed video then you can definitely stick around and we'll talk about the rest of the line so she, again we've got these beautiful cards now and um we'll talk about shaped by the wild so this is my bottle of Shaped by the Wild, and oh my gosh, you guys, these perfumes for me are just, I don't know, I, it's hard for me to convey through words, like what I feel when I smell these. So Shaped by the Wild is frankincense, pine, and sage, cedar boughs, fir balsam, iris, and orris, and you really get that iris and oris in the middle. You get this beautiful, like cozy powderiness. It's not, but it's not like a powder bomb. It's just the perfect amount. And then in the base, you get cedar, earth, wood smoke, woods, and vanilla. And you get a sweetness from the vanilla. It's just, it's amazing. So the pictures on here are pictures that she took during a visit to a First Nations village which I'm not even gonna try to, try to pronounce the name because I don't wanna be disrespectful and butcher it, but beautiful First Nations villages or a village that she, gosh, just beautiful. Um, so anyways, that one is shaped by the wild. Um, next, we have got Mevlana. Again, this is one of my top 10 perfumes for life. I, I am obsessed with this perfume. All I can think of is like a Greek cafe when I think of this. Um, so Mevlana is cardamom and pink pepper, rose and dried fruit, cocoa, Greek mastic, Mediterranean incense, tonka bean, tobacco, Turkish coffee, powdered vanilla sugar, mahogany wood, and sandalwood. And that is what the card looks like. And you can see this little picture down here with like the honey and the coffee and the Turkish delights. And if you can imagine the smell of that, all of those things and the rose petals and the cardamom, it's incredible. I mean, it's legitimately one of the best perfumes I've ever smelled in my life. Um, and I feel the same way about my Greek lover. I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. So anyways, that one is Mevlana. And then we have got Chocolate Earth. This is, Chocolate Earth is amazing. This is like a earthy, chocolatey mushroom perfume. It's incredible. So Chocolate Earth is fennel, pine, and tarragon, cedar moss, elemi, mushroom, and marigold, salted chocolate, fresh earth, fir balsam, maple sugar, oak moss, patchouli, and woods. And it's amazing. It's like nothing I've ever, ever smelled before. It's one of the most unique fragrances that I've got in my collection. And it's amazing. It reminds me, it reminds me of fall. And it's like what I want to smell like when it starts to get cold out. It's amazing. So anyways, that one is Chocolate Earth. And then last but not least, we've got Running With Wolves, and 
gosh, this is another just stunner of a fragrance. This is more of like a fruity, like a fruity take on a perfume. So this is Sichuan Pepper, Black Cherry, Red Apple, Tuberose, Almond, Agarwood, Blonde Woods, Leather, and Soft Animalic Notes. I can tell you these fragrances get better with time too. They smell amazing from the minute you get your nose on them, but as, I don't know, as time goes by, they just start, they just smell more incredible. I mean, I don't know how it's possible, but somehow it is. But yeah, that one is called Running With Wolves and it's amazing. But definitely head over to the Untamed website and check out Blackbird and My Greek Lover, which is the new love of my life. I'm going to live in My Greek Lover this summer. I can't, I can't stop. But anyways, you guys, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. I will have everything down, uh, linked for you down below. I do hope that you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.